Hello, good morning everyone. I hope all of you are safe and fine. Wasting no more time. Today I will explain you seeds, structure and germination. As the chapter name suggests, seed. So very first you have to clear the term basic basic terms fruit seed and grain fruit what is fruit you already studied in your previous chapter the after fertilization ovary converted into fruit it means to say that when ovary matured ripened it become fruit next is seed and after fertilization of two different nuclei the resultant product when matured and ripen it become seed grain grain is somewhat modified form of fruit in which fruit wall and the seed coat are fused together for example wheat maize etc next in general language we can say that about seed seed is the future of new plant inside the seed embryo is present in an inactive and in a sleeping mode means dormant state it means to say that until seed exposed to favorable condition for the germination it remain inside the seed as in an inactive form seed contains food material for the nourishment of the embryo during the germination unless the first rudimentary leaves appeared in the seedling during the process of fertilization next topic is classification and structure of the seeds seeds are classified into two category monocotyledons and dicotyledon monocotyledon stands for mono means single and cotyledons for cotyledon mean seed that contain one cotyledon example maize and grasses and etc dicotyledon di stands for two cotyledons again for cotyledon mean seed in which two cotyledons are present for example pea gram bean in general language we can say that monocotyledon seed cannot be broken down into two part whereas dicotyledon seeds can be broken down into parts now the variety of seeds some of the seeds are very small some are quite large and the largest one more classification on the basis of endosperm seed are classified into two category albuminous endospermic and x albuminous non endospermic it means to say that albuminous or endospermic seed are those seed in which membrane is thin and a large endosperm persist like in case of maize grain you can see the diagram of longitudinal section of maize seed where endosperm the large chamber and the second chamber regarding the embryo scutellum where embryo is present and x albuminous or non endospermic as the name suggests endosperm is not present in this case in such a type of seeds cotyledon stores food itself and they become thick and fleshy and provide the nourishment during the germination to the developing embryo for example 
bean structure further we have to observe the basic structure of the bean bean is the kidney shaped here you can see that external feature of the bean seed testa that is the outer layer hilum this is the oval scar mark through which seed is attached to the ovary to with the help of placenta and a whole micropyle through which respiratory gases exchange takes place especially the o2 and water is also absorbed by through the micropyle during the process of fertilization entry of male part especially the pollen tube also goes inside for the fertilization in female reproductive part through micropyle here you can see that when seed just start germinating it give rise to radical and plumule radical give rise to root system and plumule give rise to shoot system here you can see next diagram of bean seed where two cotyledons are mentioned that is the outer layer testa innermost layer tegmen but in some cases in some seeds both testa and tegmen they are fused together next you can see this one is the embryonal axis the part from embryonal axis and upper portion till plumule is known as apicotyle and middle one where the embryonal axis lies called mesocotyle and the lower part below the embryonal axis till radical called hypocotyle upper part give rise to plumule which rises just above the soil and lower ones which goes down deep into the soil give rise to root system called radical structure of maize this one is the external features of maize seed here you can see that remains of the style and the spermic chamber position of the red cell position of plumule scutellum this is the longitudinal section of maize grain here you can see that outer layer testa fused with pericarp means both ex layers are fused together to form single layer next is the aluran layer it is specially rich in protein basically made up of single cell of epithelial cell and this contains large chamber called scutel scutellum and a uh, endospermic chamber endospermic chamber is large chamber it act as a nutritive material means it provide nourishment during the development process of the seed especially germination and scutellum chamber contains embryo embryonic chamber plumule which is further protected by the coleopetal and radical protected by the coleoriza the main important question differentiate between the coleoriza and the coleopetal then you have to give ki coleopetal is a protective covering of plumule and coleoriza is a protective covering of radical here you can notice that plumule is present at a broader end and radical is present at the tapering side of this structure of the seed